Hey guys, I want to uh, share a sold, another one of the sold uh, flow books that I put together um, for a person who had asked me, um, a customer who had asked me, potential customer, um, now customer, <laughs> who had asked me for um, some crystal, uh, crystal, um, Christmas, I'm trying to say Christmas and a bunch of other words all at one time. Anyway, um, so this is what I put together for her and she um, liked it. Um, I sent her a few pictures of it and she went ahead and and, and uh, claimed it. So I want to share it with you. That's the only reason why I'm making the video. Um, and so it will say sold at the top just because she, she did buy it. Um, and so let me just show you what I did for this one. This was an old Dick and Jane book um, that I found, I think, last summer. Um, and I just took all the pages out of it for... Christmas packages, Christmas um, bundles and packs, um, as well as for this past uh, lot of Christmas goodies that I put together. Um, it's a pretty big book that measures, let me see here. And by the way, I'm going to link uh, Selena's uh, shop. Most most of you know who she is anyway uh, down below because I think, I'm not for certain, but I think she'll have some Christmas goodies for you guys um, in her Etsy shop. Um, and maybe we'll do some videos um of those so i wanted to make sure to to give you that little heads up in case you're looking for more christmas goodies this is about 12 and a quarter inches by 10 just shy of 10 maybe nine and three four and then the spine is about an inch and a quarter Okay, so what I did for this one, I put some beads on here that were sort of Christmas themed, but really they could be any, um, you can pull them off and make them for anything. This is one of those old, beautiful ceramic beads. Um, it's kind of a, a sort of a bohemian style bead, but um, there's a blue one and a red one and this little one here. And then I put on this one, this green one is my favorite. I'm almost out of those. I love those. Um, but there's another little crystal clear crystal looking button a bead i'm sorry and one that looks like ice and here's a little red and blue wooden bead with this one and then at the very bottom i put some bells um that's just loosely hanging in the book um and that way because i you know if you put them on the side here it tends to make the book uh, not lay flat um and so i'm just going to fly through this pretty quickly um it's my same style um of these books that I put together this one was really fun as well and I you know just kind of want to get it done so I can get it sent off to her so there's the cover some Dick and Jane this is a more modern Dick and Jane book um here's the inside so over here I put this um beautiful 1950s image and she's got up here some vintage yellow hymnal pages some writing paper some number paper, a postcard, and some other little goodies in there. And I didn't stuff those down in there too far because I'm not sure how you'd get that out. But remember, a flow book, guys, is meant for you to take it apart. Um, if you're not sure what it is, again, you can visit Southern Gals, Tiff. You can visit Tammy Brackett. You can visit Rosemary Morris. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, because I haven't been able to watch videos or keep up with videos, but I saw one kind of uh, rotate through um, on my notifications of a lady named Hallie um, that just did a flow book. Um, and she's, I think she's pretty well known um, in the YouTube world. I'll see if I can find her video and link that as well. I'm sure I will. So I'll link all of those again, just so that you can get the idea of what a flow book is. It's totally meant for you to take apart and cut things up and pull things out. Nothing is secured in here. You can slip this big doily right on out, um, snip it up, cut it up, use it up, whatever you want. Okay, um, lots of vintage images here. Um, there's some gingham there. This is old vintage wrapping paper. And um, this, I believe, is a, um, it's a Christmas image. And I think there's a poem on there. Let me see. Yeah, it's got some pretty uh, red images. That's from a, um, a 1960s book. Um, so I'll leave that like that. I'll put it back later. Um, here she's got some buttons and some Christmas images that come out of a, um, uh, I think this came out of either a children's book or a magazine, Ideal Magazine. Here's some uh, Christmas looking bags and she's got these pretty little 
um, pieces in here of kids um, during winter time and this is from an old 1960s book so she can fold that in and turn those into journaling cards memories and there's some kids playing in the snow during Christmas time so those are just little bits and pieces and snippets there's a napkin in there and again a bag I love the buttons I think those are so much fun to add um, into Christmas journals and I see a lot of ladies uh, do, using those as well um, here is some vintage um, this is some vintage uh, uh, there came three kings music paper here's a cookie book cover I was gonna put something here I left it blank this is an image of Mary and Joseph, um, the flight into Egypt, riding a donkey. And you'll see the other side of that in a minute. These are really cute. These are religious cards. I tried to make this book like a variety. There's some religious, obviously, with Mary and Joseph um, and references to Jesus on the old hymnal pages. So I tried to make it um, vintage, grungy, um, a little bit grungy, a little bit um, modern as well. Uh, not too much because I don't do, I, you know, try my best to make sure my supplies are 98, anywhere from 90 to 100 percent vintage. I'll put it that way. Um, this is from a Norman Rockwell piece. I didn't have any more of the big Christmassy Norman Rockwell papers that I put in the Halloween kits. Um, so this one came nicely away from um, an ideal magazine. I got this beautiful tape from Candy. Thank you, Candy, so much. Um, here's some ribbon in here and some rickrack uh, in blue and white and green secured by a piece of washi. Um, she's got a tag in there. There's St. Nick scribbling and writing down a list. Um, here's a little um, polka dot little clip up here at the top. Ribbon, polka dot ribbon. This little cute um, piece here great for snippets and these old vintage gold buttons here's another little doily that's um, like an eyelet style this I forgot to show you this let me show you this picture here because it's really neat um, I just folded this in but this is so pretty and it reminds me of my Christmas and my daughter's Christmas and my brother and my mom even my great-grandmother used to have this ribbon candy all the time in a candy bowl on her table every year and there's the pretty poinsettias and um, pines and old lamps um, love all of this I have just a tiny little bit of ribbon left from my great aunt's estate um, in blue um, that I included over the years in uh, Christmas kits um, because that was her favorite color and and um, I love sharing that with you guys I'm almost out of that there's a little Christmas tree with a farm scene Okay, there's the doily. This is some contemporary beautiful pieces, um, compliments of Candy and Sophia. Thank you, ladies. So those are added in there. And those are fun. That's I love it because I don't have a lot of contemporary uh, pieces. I don't shop for supplies. I scavenge for supplies. And it's always at estate sales or vintage um, stores, thrift stores, and bazaars and flea markets. There's St. Nick there. And... Um, they're sort of prepping for Christmas. It says Nicholas right there. And then these are some writing papers with a cute little penguin and some Christmas trees and that candy cane border. This is some beautiful old, I showed this on the haul. This came from an estate sale. It's hand crochet. It is so pretty. Um, and I put a lot of it in there. I just folded it in two. So you've got probably um, two yards of that. Okay, and then this really big Rick Rack and Red, I think is really pretty. There's about a yard of that in there. And some tool that you can't really see in green. Um, let's see here. If you can see that. There you go. So you've got green tool there, or whatever that's called. There's a moose for a winter scene. That's an old calendar. Not an old calendar, but from a calendar. Here's some dictionary pages back here. Um, there's several. And then here's some green fabric that I thought would be really cool for tags. So she's got some of that. Um, my signature, a popcorn bag. That um, You find that in my kits all the time because that's my thing, man. Um, 
not exclusively, I should say. Um, people put whatever they want to put in their kits, right? But I just always have put a popcorn bag in mine just because it's, it's fun. There's some floss. There's some red and green, um, an old index card, um, some gingham that she can cut up and make tabs in a different book if she's making more than one. Some old Christmas bulbs and a Christmas tree. Just a bunch of little goodies to um, craft with. And there's a little piece of ribbon in blue and green. Um, another one of the old vintage little ephemera pieces. The other side of the eyelet doily. Some uh, Uno cards in uh, green and red, which is appropriate. Um, a piece of just a random piece of ribbon to help hold that in without the uh, pin. Uh, mar marking up the cards. There's a Christmas card and she can turn that into um, a recipe card. It's Santa. These are contemporary. Um, I put in some of my paper doll clothes and these paper dolls are old as the hills. Um, they really are and they're yellowed and they're so pretty um, and I tried to pick out uh, clothes that represented winter so she can collage with those if she wants to. There's a Christmas card and an angel there in the background. So there's a ton of those. And what else did I put in here? There's another little snippet up there of the stockings. And that's stapled on with some green staple, staples. Um, on this side, um, she's got a little card that I just turned um, into a writing journaling spot. And I put a green eyelet in there for her. There are cards in here in a lot of these images that she can make her own cards and collage with those. Um, some coloring book pages of winter scene. Lots of Santa and winter kids. Um, a kids during winter scene and this cute little snowman here. And this is a very beautiful scene um, that comes from an old uh, art magazine, art book, I should say. Because this page is very, very nice quality and matte-like. Um, I love this image of baby Jesus here. It's almost got an afro going on. Looks like my head in the mornings. Um, here is Joseph and Mary, another art piece. Here's a grandma holding a cookie jar. She's so cute. Um, actually, that's probably Mrs. Santa, Mrs. Claus. And here's a more religious plate. This comes from a very old, old, old vintage book. Um, and it's from an oil painting by Edwin uh, Preeti. Painted expressly for the book of life. The vision of Jesus comes to comfort the poor man who is passing through some great crises. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And I thought that was just so beautiful. Heavy laden religion, uh, religious pieces. Not always in here. It's a mix. It's eclectic. It's a melange of different themes, all relative to Christmas. Music paper. Bring a torch, Jeanette Isabella. And then you have this beautiful image of baby Jesus and Mary um, and uh, some of the onlookers pointing. They're excited. Um, here is some more of the uh, magazine images that I think she can cut out and turn into um, journaling spots. And these are carolers singing. And there's some more vintage images. There's a Christmas poem on the back, Christmas Eve. And she's got in here a blue and a green, uh, green and blue, uh, 25 for Christmas Day. There's another card in there with a little image on it that I just glued on, some money. Um, there's a Santa there. She can do whatever she wants with that little image. More poetry um, in here. Christmas is coming. And these two are opening up a gift. And I put in... Let's see here, guys. Um, in this little white envelope, there's some more money in there and some of those, um, whoops, sorry. I hope you guys can see that okay. Some of those cards and some little baby itty bitty tags um, that she can put in there. And I do have some pricing tags to stick in there in red and green. I'll add those and that's just from the tags sticking out there. 
Um, over here, she's got another little card. I put a white eyelet in there. And guys, everybody knows I am not an artist. I am not a crafter. I don't make junk journals. I am a 100% pure junk journal supplier, art supplier, you know, whatever, especially paper. That's my thing. That's what I do. Um, and so you can see where I totally did not line that up. But I think she can have fun with it. She can probably alter that <laughs> because... Yeah, I mean, how difficult is it to punch a grommet in a piece of paper, right? Um, apparently, for some of us, it's a challenge. Um, here's a Santa card. Here's the other side of that beautiful doily. There are so many little pretty white, pure white squares on here that she can cut and make pockets or make snippets or make page embellishments or layer. Um, she can coffee dye this. She can avocado dye it, whatever she wants to do. And I put in two little uh, green and teal ribbons, um, kind of threaded them throughout so they don't get lost. Hang on, guys. Let me let my baby in. Hold on. Okay, so then I put in this cute little puppy dressed in um, a Santa Claus hat. There's a plaid um, tab there. I love this. And I put some of that in there for her to make her own tabs. Um, I didn't staple it too well. It kind of gathered um, when I was stapling it. But the staples are pretty. <laughs> They're colored. Um, there's a cute little squirrel, winter squirrel. Um, jolly old St. Nicholas, another big, very large uh, music paper. She can collage and, and use that in other projects. A virgin unspotted. These come from those little books that you guys saw me grab from an estate sale. There were several of them, and I held some back for this purpose for Christmas. Um, there's a Christmas wish poem there. It says, Merry Christmas, a pretty winter scene. And these are really lovely. Look at the holly. You can just sew those right into your journals. Um, and these are quite a small. The Night Before Christmas, a Christmas tree prayer. And there's some more of the Three Kings. So those are these are fun. I really like these a lot, and I have several of those. Um, over here, she's got just a remnant piece um, from the Christmas bundles that I did, and they all sold out. Um, this little Christmas bulb and some holly berry, um, the snow. There's St. Nicholas there. And here I put in a gigantic piece of plaid for her to play with and craft with. Um, and here's some more carolers here. Here is a candy cane card. I think it's got a winter scene in blue on the back. Um, in this bag, let me see here, guys. I put her, what did I put? Oh, she's got a lot of cutouts and images in here of Santas and angels. And um, look at that. I love those. Those angels are so pretty. Um, and she can make all kinds of little tags with them she can make um journaling spots with them embellish um, all kinds of little winter scenes and little santas and elves and little birds um love the scene of santa here and it just goes on and on and on so she's got quite a bit to play around with that um there's even a couple of recipes in here of gingerbread and there's another one in there of something else Okay, so those are, I think those are a lot of fun and she can do so many different um, um, layouts with those or, you know, just create different little elements in her, um, in her books or her art projects, whatever kind of uh, art crafting she's doing. Um, they're just fun. Okay, there's that. Here is the nice piece of plaid. Um, I think it extends all the way over to the other side. So I'm not, um, you know, chintzy with those kinds of things because you, you should have a lot. And you just slide this right out. You just pull it right out. Um, here's an old vintage Santa card. Some of those were in my kits, uh, my Christmas kits um, from a month or so ago. And there's Mary. There's some green ribbon. This ribbon was in my kits. Um, the way this order happened uh, was because she wanted a kit um, like I put together um, a month or so ago um, and they went pr they went pretty fast so what I did is told her 
I don't have enough to make those kits all over again. So I told her that I was making sort of a leftover from those kits um, in a flow book um, and if she was interested. So I'm always trying my best to be uh, accommodating to my customers. Um, so I I will say this, I um, on two orders, international orders, um, the shipping was very, very slow on those. And so I appreciate uh, the ladies who um, ordered um, and they know who they are because I've communicated with them that those are, you know, their orders are, are on their way. If they're not already there by now, they're on their way. So thank you ladies for your patience. Um, this is a fox, a winter fox, and I thought that was so pretty to put in there. And that's another one of the calendar pages. Over here, she's got um, some more writing papers in this pretty um, festive. I love putting this in all kinds of kits. And you guys have seen this. If you've ordered from me before, you've seen this paper. You probably received it um, in a kit from me. Um, there's a doily there um, that looks like snow. I put two little glassine bags in there. And there's Santa with a whole bunch of toys um, that he's gathering up to pass to to distribute and this is a pretty winter scene I just put a piece of washi at the end of this clip here just to give it a little bit of interest a little bit of pizzazz um, but I love this the big tree this is a town meeting obviously and that's a full page I had one piece of this linen left from the Christmas bundles, the Christmas kits, um, and I obviously put it in here for her because she was interested in that same theme, the same items and elements. So she's got a nice piece of that, and that those make great pockets, beautiful pockets, or just pages, right? Um, let's see. This is another little fold-in, and there's some of the plaid uh, with green staples on there, um, a little clip with some rickrack. She's got a napkin in here with some uh, stockings on them. She can decoupage a tag, um, some two from tags. There's about three or four of those in there, two or three of those in there, I think. Um, here's some more ribbon here that's really pretty. Those went in my Christmas kits. Here's a little tag that's vintage, two from with some little cherub angels on there. Um, here's another Christmas bulb scene. There is a card with a snowman on the front, and here's some sleigh from the old uh, Sears book. There's some Shakespeare back there, some nuns. I put in for her, there's more tool, um, this beautiful uh, lacy um, lace fabric um, and I thought that these flowers would be so pretty um, the reason why this is in here is because I'm curating happy mail for some ladies um, all over the world and in the United States and I've been uh, sort of again tailoring things around them and so I ran up on this um, I've used this in kits before but the flowers it's so flat and they've got gold sparkles um, in them I just think it makes lovely 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 um, appliques or places uh, points to build your layering from here's another Christmas image here some kids playing with a uh, spin top some trains a baby look at the new baby in the rocking chair and the sister over here cutting up there's a pop-out jack-in-the-box there her little dolly in the Christmas tree very very festive beautiful images um, in here and these are old images these are not from new books Sometimes you can tell by the looks of, of things um, how old these are. Um, another scenery there. In the middle here I put some eyelet-like fabric. Um, so it's got some little florals on it. And it is white, so she can dye that if she wants to. There's the other part of that seam of father uh, hanging Christmas ornaments. Um, I love the background of this house, the, the lamps and the chairs. This sort of reminds me of my great aunt's style of chairs. She had those Louis V or VI or whomever style chairs. And this little girl is holding our dolly. So there's two little girls there, a little boy and a woman holding a new baby. Home for Christmas. There's the other side of the lace. There's the other side of the tool. In this pocket here, she's got some of this, which I included in the Christmas bundles, and that's silvery and sparkly. So she's got some gold sparkly, ivory um, color, a cream color, and some uh, white uh, with silver. 
here's a playing card, a tea card. Um, here's a little Santa remnant um, that I had left over. Santa's visit uh, Christmas stocking. That's really cute. Um, there's one of Sophia's little uh, pads in green with some little red burnt orange looking colors on there, flowers. Some of these whole reinforcers in case she's doing a binder type of um, type of journal. There's Santa again, a small remnant. There's a snowman. There's some little dolls um, from the Sears and Roebuck. Another card. So she's got a lot of different things to play with, um, uh, to use in her crafts and to, to mess around with, fuss over and pick and choose from. Carla, I love her. Thank you, Carla. Sent me this thick stack of Christmas. I left her handwriting on there. It says Christmas magic. She's put the date on there. Left it just as it is. Um, these images are beautiful and they're all old um, Christmas images and Christmas crafting cutouts and things like that. So thank you, Carla, for this because um, that's what you gave me this pack for, girl, and I'm using it. <laughs> I think these are so pretty. Look at the little cutouts there. And so it tells you, it's got little instructions on how to do paper projects. Um, Christmas jewelry. Um, there's that. And there's some images of Christmas pine. Um, jewelry being made out of pine. There's a crochet piece, an earring. Um, I think these, these are just amazing pages. And so um, the recipient can use all of that. And that's from the 1960s. Excuse me. That's topped off by a Christmas card, playing card. And here's another page here that folds out. It's an elf of with a sleigh and presents and, you know, ready to deliver um, some presents. There's another Christmas card, um, playing card there. And this is the other side of that Christmas holly um, napkin. Here's the other side of the doily. She's got a card in there in green and a little gift, great gift, uh, you know, card to journal on. And again, those come between Candy and uh, Sophia. That's where I get those from. Um, here's Santa here holding some a baby doll and smoking his pipe. And he's all festive, festive out with his bag and his um, holly and his is a hat um here's an old vintage christmas tree again this kind of furniture looks just like my great aunt uh just like her living room but it was all in blue um very very beautiful um i put this mountain lion in there because i thought he's appropriate um for winter and then here is another card another santa with some little happy ribbon here that i got from an estate sale you guys saw me when i got all of that red um, there's baby Jesus looking so fat and plump and cute. Um, here's the other side of that nice piece of uh, plaid. And this is topped off here with the card. That's the back and the blue and uh, white grayish looking uh, snowflakes. Um, here is an emoji Christmas dude. Um, there's two envelopes here. And in one of them, I put her... Some bits and pieces. She's got some Norman Rockwell cards, some florals, some green paint chips, um, some other little writing pieces, some coin tubes, another Christmas card in green, and a um, Rolodex card. And in this one, what did I put in here? Um, some green and blue, a piece of ribbon, remnant, a red card, and Santa. So just little bits and pieces that she can um, use. So there's that. Uh, let's see, what else did I put in here? Um, there's the other side of Mary and uh, Joseph. That might be Joseph and it looks like one of the kings. More music paper. It's got two big sheets of that. There's a snowman. Um, you can tell that's probably from the late 70s mid 70s somewhere around there there's Santa in a different um, different pose and stance and here's some little pom-pom trim up here that just hangs off the, the top on a um, clip pin a deer uh, show for Christmas and the other side of that cute little doggy with a little bell 
hope you guys are seeing that okay with the little bell pinned on and there's the doggy there's his bells um, if she's not a dog person she might be a cat person she can gift that to someone else or if she's making um, a journal for someone who likes dogs um, is why I put that there there's Santa hanging on a big stocking on the door and here's some vintage life magazine gigantic fragile images here of Christmas um, uh, drinks for those who like to um, you know indulge and more poetry a Christmas tree the little lights of Christmas I'm a Christmas tree here's a table prayer of different kind of music paper uh, son of David music paper and holy holy music paper okay so that is this um, flow book and again I will link everybody down below um, I will link, uh, link Selena's shop she's a more fabric I will uh, link uh, Tammy's shop of course and Rosemary's shop of course and Hallie if I can find her video uh, I think that was her I'm not sure but I'll see what I can do um, and I'll link um, again Southern Gals and I usually guys I know it's repetitive it seems like I'm not linking anybody else's shops but theirs um, don't worry I will um, because I you know I like to show you what you can do with this kind of thing, or at least from the supplies that um, you get from me or other um, JJ suppliers. Um, there's all kinds of options, and most of you guys know that already. Most of you are very self-sufficient. So anyway, okay, guys, I better go, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful moment in this life, and I'll be back with some kitty cat um, packs uh, and a few other ones, other themed ones. Um, and thank you to the buyer who purchased this. I appreciate it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Orale pues.